Welcome to Bear Download at ChicagoTribune.com. I'm Rich Campbell along with Dan Weeder. Dan, looking at the big picture here as the Bears coming off their Thursday night loss to the Dallas Cowboys and just these questions about the stewardship of the organization and Mark Tressman's ability to continue to have this locker room engaged, believing in his program. What do you make of some of the things that Mark said after the, the game? Yeah, I mean, it's a hard discussion to have quickly. It's, it's such a big picture, complex discussion on, on whether this organization is positioned to clean up this mess. And, and so you, you sort of start to try to take a pulse on, on whether there's a sense, whether it's in the locker room, whether it's in the front office upstairs, on whether there's a belief that, that things are broken beyond repair. At this point, you don't get a sense that there's that there's a mutiny occurring, that there's, right. that, that there's so much discontent here that, that there's going to be a revolt here at Hallisall. That said, the results speak for themselves. The Bears are 5-8, and eight, another double-digit loss to the Cowboys, another game in which they fell behind by at least 28 points. There's been a, uh, too many of those this year, a handful of, of blowout losses that have put this team in a precarious position, and it's left, obviously, some questions on, on, on where you go, where do the changes need to be made, where do the leadership tweaks need to be had to get this thing pointed back in the right direction. It's very interesting to see how Mark Tressman's methods are coming to use during this time of adversity. I mean, that's one of his biggest, uh, I guess, pillars of his coaching program is to get players to invest in each yeah. other interpersonally so that when times do get tough, you're playing for the next guy, you're sticking together. And I think, you, you, as you said, we've seen that. This team has not splintered. Right. They're just not playing well. Well, yeah, and, and, and what you mentioned, retaining sort of that cohesion, being able to keep the, the, the discontent from mushrooming up to uncontrollable proportions is important. It's not the most important thing. The wins and losses are the most important thing. Yeah. And so you have to juggle this as an organization in judging sort of how this team uh, conducts itself, how this team unites, how this team goes forward with the idea that they're not competitive, that they've lost eight times in 13 games and, and really in a lot of instances ha have made so many errors that, that, are, that are inexplicable or, or just haven't been corrected. And so there's a lot here to this puzzle. The Bears have three more games to play and they're gonna have to sit down in that first week of January and really, really take a long, hard look at this and discuss what the plans are to rectify this. Right, because it's multifaceted, right? I mean, you've got not only the coaching methods and all that, but you've also just got the roster. You've got yeah. to evaluate the roster, the people the coaching that put, staff. right, the people that put the roster together. Really dissect uh, all the parts that go into this, and it's it's going to be a, a quite a tall task for the ownership of the team to really sort out what direction they want to go. You know, Mark Trespin talked about some of the offensive errors today, and basically said it's hard to figure out because you can't pinpoint one guy making the same mistake over and over again. And on a big picture, when you scale back and look at this organizationally, there's a lot of places you could start. And I don't think there's one right answer on where you start to, to make these changes and make these overhauls to get things pointed back in the right direction. Complex discussion, obviously they're gonna to have to have it here and they're gonna to have to take it very seriously to get this thing pointed back in the right direction. Right, and this is the topic that's come to the front of everybody's mind and it's almost unfortunate that we have three games to go. We really right. have to be patient, let this thing play out, and let the process continue. Of course, we'll cover the whole thing at chicagotribune.com, so stay tuned for updates. For Dan Weeder, I'm Rich Campbell, and that'll do it for Bear Download.